Mr. German Mangandi. Hello, good Good evening, sir. Right. Hello, sir. So, how are you doing, Luis? Hello, teacher. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks. Good evening, Ilda. Hi, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> Hi, good night. Mr. Javier Rivas, what's up, sir? I'm pretty good. Yeah. Nice. Alex Alex Cornejo. Hello, good evening. Good evening, How are sir. You? Yeah, good. How Thanks. was your weekend? Uh pretty busy by the way, you know, and rainy. Busy, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it's good, you know. Can't complain. So what about yours, Alex? Uh you know, I was with my family uh, to the beach oh okay i was gonna say and i was gonna say nothing special but yeah you, you had a special, yeah, I did something <laughs> special. Yeah. okay it was, it was good you know? it was good right okay l l i mean let me ask this question in general because this is the beginning of the uh third week is everyone uh done with the platform i mean i need to ask this <laughs> you know so I mean, did you complete the the platform? You know, at the beach, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> I don't think so. Right? I did. <laughs> you did. I did. Okay. I got, I got it. I completed it last Saturday. You know. And you completed the the uh, five uh, sections, everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. I. All right. I did uh, <laughs> the final final exam also. And how much you got? Um, Can you share with us how much you got, sir? I mean, how much uh, did you get? You don't remember. That's okay. You know, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 100, 100, of, 100 of 100 points. 100 out of 100. That's good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you know, I be, I, actually, last weekend I had a meeting with the uh, coordination at the Inglés Corporativo, and they actually told us. So please ask the participants, which means you, you know how you're doing in the platform if you need extra help but i don't know if you have noticed but my focus yes it's on the platform you know somehow but i would say uh this class should be a little bit more particip participative you know you you guys are supposed to to speak and that's the way we have been working during the last two weeks mm -hmm. and this week and the last one is not going to change you know hopefully all right so let's see who, who's in this meeting. So I have Alex, please, Brenda, Edgar. Um, let's see, German, Hilda, Karen, Carla, Miguel, Roberto, and then Javier. Okay, so 11 participants so far. So let's let's begin with this, all right? So just one second over here. All right. All right. Let me just correct something here. You know, they're overlapping. Okay. One second. All right. So, English Corporativo, intermediate level, module number one, third week. And this is how we're going to start the third week. So I thought that it, you know it was supposed to be a good idea to start with some idioms. In this in this case, we're gonna uh, study two idioms, and okay. these two idioms have a literal translation, which means that yes, they do mean what they actually uh, seem to mean. So costa norm and leg, we don't really say the same in Spanish, but we have a, I would say an equivalent expression to say or to state the same feeling. The one yeah. I have on my right, okay, is two left feet. 
that one I would say yes. We say this in Spanish and it has the same meaning in English. But you know, let's go ahead and take a look at the first one, the one that says cost an orb and a leg. And I'm gonna choose a participant over here. Let's see, Carla, would you like to help us read the uh, first example, which is cost an arm and a leg, if you don't mind, please. Okay, yes. Cost an, uh, an arm and a leg. What cuts an uh, arm and a leg? When something costs an arm and a leg, it, it, it is very expensive. Notice the following. First, uh, housing three this day cost an arm and a leg. Two, college cost me an arm and a leg. Yeah, that's correct. Can you think of an example uh, and, and tell us, please? Right, and, and maybe you can share with us, Carla, uh, um, one example of uh, <laughs> something that costs an arm and a leg. Um, maybe when you... Uh, when you want a um, Mac computer, it mm -hmm. costs an, an, an arm and a leg. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's, it's about difficult me. to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know, it costs an arm and a leg. You know, if you, if you say like just cause, you know, you, you may say like a little bit fast, uh, you know, cost an arm and a leg. Uh, so you have to put teams together over there. Okay. Yes. Uh, thanks for the example. Yes. The last, yes, Alex. Yes. Uh, the last version of. Uh, of the iPhone, right? Yeah. iPhone, it, it costs uh, a, a, an arm and a leg. Yeah, you know, I, I have lost count of the so many versions of the iPhones and the other bands, right? I think it's 11, <laughs> 11 now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, you never know, right? <laughs> yeah. You never know, right? Yes. If you want to buy a, a new car, which is, you know, 2021, I would say that that costs an arm and a leg. In Spanish, that would be un ojo de la cara, right? But in English, mm -hmm. it's actually your 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 board, your arm, and your leg. So I think these these guys actually mean something. Okay, and I think they're more dramatic. The other one we have in here is two left feet. Two left feet. You know, Christmas celebrations are coming. Cumbiones are coming. You know, cumbias. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I what I thought. Two uh -huh. left, left feet. Let's hear, right? It's a good thing that we don't have, you know, you know, two, and you know, one more, one more foot, right? <laughs> because I would say I, I have three less feet myself. You, know? <laughs> you are the worst doing something. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> yes, like me. <laughs> yeah, like 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 you. So what is what is your your your? I would say your classic cumbia movement, right? This one, right? The one you go just like that. <laughs> or, or in reverse, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, Christmas, Christmas is just around the corner, right? If you go yeah. to to these places, you know, uh, you know, Walmart or the other places, you see a lot of uh, Christmas decoration. Remember, nice. So. Help us, uh, Angel, please, to read the yeah. example of two feet, two left feet, please. Um, well, uh, when I come, uh, I do a mistake, for example, well, mm -hmm. you're talking about the dancing. When I'm dancing, some people say, hey, you're dancing so well to have two, <laughs> two left feet. <laughs> yeah, you're right, sir. Uh, could you help us read the question? And thanks for the example, by the way because that's where we're supposed to, to, you know, to use this in a real example. So do you have a two left feet? Could you help me read this, eh, Angel? If you have two left feet. Okay. Please. Do you have the two left feet? If you have two left feet, that means uh, I can see that. Let me, let me move this, please. All right. I think only you cannot. Yeah, I um, think you have that means something. You cannot dance very well. <laughs> Not that following. I'm a terrible dancer. I have two left feet. You should dance. Uh, you have two left feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't do don't dance. But you know, sometimes when you're a little bit tipsy, you're not tipsy. You know. <laughs> yeah, you forget about it. Right? <laughs> okay. No names over here. You know, no names. <laughs> oh, can nice. this can this also apply for somebody who's who? can uh, play soccer very well also? Yeah, yeah. I, I see, I've seen this example. I have seen this right. example in soccer. Yes, correct. Yes. 
But in this case, if you have two left feet, you're blessed because surdos, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> lefties, they're better at playing, right? Oh, yeah. this reminds me, thanks, thanks for bringing that up, Alex. You know, a oh, classical, you know, result. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was not going to mention it, but now that you bring the soccer topic, yeah, I'm afraid yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah, these guys, you know, they have very bad luck. But yeah, anyways. Okay, so as I promised last uh, Thursday, tonight we're supposed to review section three. And okay. one of the topics in there, and I've been asked this question over the weekend, trust me. I had some uh, people, students asking, uh, can you help me with this? You know, indirect questions and some other yeah. stuff in there. So I'm gonna uh, do my best to, you know, guide you through this uh, short explanation on how to use indirect questions. And mm. the best I can do is to give you the opportunity to practice this, okay? Okay. So uh, we use indirect questions in place of regular questions because they are more polite. Yeah, the key word over here is to be more polite. So, for example, if I don't know Alex, or if I don't know you, gentlemen uh, or uh, ladies, I cannot ask you what's your age, you know, or, or how yeah. much money do you make, <laughs> right? Or did you take a shower today, right? At least, <laughs> right. Uh, at least you gotta ease, you know, the tone of voice. You know, you you gotta say, can you tell me if you, okay, or can you tell me what she said? It's like what she said, ¿Qué dijo? right? So that's why we use these uh, indirect questions, you know. Oh. And we have, yes, yeah, sir, go ahead. No, 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 okay. sorry. sorry. So, and all we have is, so we have the original question on my right. What did he say? And you just said, can you tell me? And do you know? Okay, so you, so, ¿qué dijo el profe? Like that, right? All right, and so what did he say? Can you tell me what he said? All we do is, in simple words, to delete the auxiliary uh, word in here. And that's it. And just make sure to conjugate the verb. If the question is being asked in past tense, you know, the indirect question should be in past. Yeah. If the question is in present, in third person like he, it should be in third person, etc. Okay. So on this one, do you know, I'm sorry, why did he do this? Do you know why he did this? Okay, and let's see. Yeah, let's continue with this. Point number one. We can make indirect questions by changing questions into noun clauses. This is complicated to understand. However, let me give an example. So I'm asking you, okay, uh, what did he buy? So uh, you send your brother to the store and then you ask, so what did he buy? But you can also ask in a very polite way, do you know what he bought? ¿Verdad? You know, you know a, a nosy neighbor, you know? Right? Yeah, so they, they see that you're unpacking a, a very big box and maybe it's a TV and then they're asking, okay, compro el vecino, right? What did he buy? You know, do you know what he bought? Okay. Yes. Who did she talk to? Who did she talk to? All right. Who did she talk to? A quien le habló? Con quien habló? Right? Do you know who she talked to? Just like this. You see, who did she talk to? And we just put, do you know? Yes, that's correct. So we go, who did you talk to? And then we put just, do you know? And then we just drag who in the middle and just make the previous question B1 okay. into a statement, just like that. Do you know who she talked to? All right. Why did he buy? Do you know what he bought? Okay. Just be careful to put, do you know? Can you tell me? And then if it's what, you put what in the middle. If it's who, you put who. If it's where, you put where in the middle. And then the rest, it's like a statement. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's the key. That's the key on this one. This one, it's very famous. I'm going to stop on, on this one. I have seen this in movies, but I'm not going to give you an example on this. For example, I'm going to tell you who you are talking to, you know, who you're talking to. And there comes this, you know, Al Pacino in the movie Godfather and as you know, you don't know who you're talking to, you know. So, and, and that's a very famous expression over there. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, a very good idea to make a, a direct question indirect is to put, can you tell me or do you know? Okay. And then if it's an open question like, where did he go? It becomes where he went. Okay, just like that. 
a question. Yes, sir. In, in this, uh, can could be more polite when you ask with cool. Or, or yeah, you, you can. Me? Yes, you can say I was wondering. I was wondering, you know, where he went. Okay. Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea when the meeting starts? All right. Do you happen to know who's in charge of the department? The more polite you want to be, you know, the but, more words you have to the statement. Yes, sir. Yeah, any other uh, questions over here or, or, or interventions from you, uh, ladies and gentlemen? Uh -huh. no. Are we good? It's clear. Okay, nice. Good. Let's continue with this. If you want to sound more natural, I would say more native, you got to pay close attention to this. Okay. It's, it, it's like this, you know, do you know what you should do? Okay, instead of saying that, it's better to say, do you know what to do? When the teacher says something, right, if you don't know, if you, have, if you don't have any clues what to do, y que dijo que hiciéramos, que tenemos que hacer, sabes que tenemos que hacer, right? So you can ask, do you know what to do? And I'm, sometimes I ask this question to you. Do you know what to do, everyone? Just like that, right? Example number three, can you tell me how I can get there? Okay, you can ask in a very informal way, can you tell me how to get there? Try to memorize this expression, okay? Do you know what to do? Can you tell me how to get there? Okay, next one. Okay, uh, what is this thing over here? Okay, and point number four. Okay, sometimes we use uh, indirect questions to show various feelings. An answer is not always expected. For example, do you know what you're doing? The original question would be, what are you doing? And then I'm asking, do you know what you're doing? Okay, instead of, uh, instead of telling you know, someone you're dumb, right? You don't know what to do. Right? You're, you're telling them, do you know what you're doing? And the one I told you whether to express, to express, to express anger, right? Who am I? You don't ask who am I, but you ask, do you know who am I? Do you know who I am? Do you know who you're speaking to, right? Or, or this one, do you know what I mean? Or you know what I mean, right? Have you heard this expression before? You, you know what I mean? This one? Yes, right? Yes. Or, or yeah. this one, this is a very common expression you know, for native speakers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, asking for a clarification. You know what I'm saying, right? Okay, you know what I mean? So try to practice this, you know, into, you know, include or integrate these uh, expressions into your vocabulary. All right. Yeah. In I that hear, way, it's going. Yes. Yeah, I hear another expression that says, you even think about it. You even think about it. Has a I, yeah. Yes, correct. Correct. Yes. And then it's the time for you to practice. Uh, we'll skip this part, uh, but I think it's important for you to remember if, if it's a yes or no question, you got to add if like in this example is the restaurant closing now or is the class you know already uh going on you can ask can you tell me if the class is going on right now okay uh -huh. does does maria living new in, in soyapango okay do you happen to know or do you have any idea or can you tell me if maria lives in soyapango yes yes Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Let's get to practice over here. So I'm going to send you to groups, uh, no, let's say in pairs. And what you're going to do with your classmate, you're going to ask the indirect question, the, the direct question, excuse me, and then your classmate should reply with the indirect statement over there. And you don't have to go in order. So you can go from number one, you can jump to number four, and then to number nine, and then you go back. The idea is to practice all the questions in directly and indirectly. All right. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So we have 16 participants. I think you're uh, no, actually 15. And you know, just try to practice just, you know, a, a, a point blank, okay? Or a blank point, like we say, you know, a quemarropa, you know, blank point. So where's the station? Could you tell me where the station is? You know, how does it work? Could you explain how, how he works or how he works? You know, just like this. So be careful. These are tricky one, okay? Do we have an, uh, an agreement on this? 
Uh -huh. Okay. So okay. let me just one second over here. So 15 participants, we got two and then three rounds. Oops, that's too big. Hold on. Um, there we go. And open rooms. So Jacqueline is with Karen and Miguel. Uh, German is with Hilda. Angel is with Veronica. Uh, Luis is with Javier Rivas. Alex uh, is with Karen. And then Edgar with uh, Roberto. Brenda with Karen. Now, one, one, once again, what you gotta do is to practice these questions indirectly and directly. So you gotta turn the direct statement or question into indirect speech, please. So go ahead, please. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah, I can see that the, the you have shared the image of I'm about to do it, you know. <laughs> but thanks. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, that's no, that's okay. I, I appreciate you know you're taking the you know the okay. image over here. <laughs> Yeah, I always forget to share the, the information. Like, I assume that you have it in there, so my bad. Okay. Know. Yeah, hold on. Let's see. Yes, this is the one. Yeah. So Great. the first is, where is the station, right? And the polite question, it could be, could you tell me where the station is? Yes. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, you, you, yeah, you're correct. You can practice just like this or you cannot. So Carla and then we have Brenda. So I, I, I'm uh, Brenda and I, I'm asking you, Carla, how does it work? And then you tell me the answer. I mean, the, uh, the indirect question, mother. Could you explain or? Uh, okay, the next. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm asking you, uh, are you coming to the party? Mm -hmm. So how would you make that indirect, uh, Brenda? Ah, indirect. <laughs> yes, I'm going to come. No, but in that case, you don't have to actually reply. Right now, we're just practicing the, ah, two, okay, versions, okay. the, two, the two versions of, of the question. So if I ask, okay. how, how long does it take together? You got to tell me, do you know? Uh, okay. And do you, you know? Uh -huh. Go ahead, yes. Do you know how long does... Do you know how long does it take to the get there? No, you, you gotta you gotta delete the auxiliary verb. You don't use the auxiliary verb. You know? Uh, yes. So be careful with that one. So do you know how long it takes together? Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Take to get. Uh -huh. Yeah, we delete the auxiliary. Forget about the auxiliary over there. The only question structure is the one at the beginning. You know, do you know? Do you have any idea? Could you tell me? I was wondering. And then the rest okay. is just a statement. Do you do you have an idea? What are you doing? Uh, what question is that one? Yeah, seven, right? Mm -hmm. No, but it would be. So what are you doing? And then I'm asking, do you have any idea what you are doing? So we don't we what don't make okay. we don't make we don't make two questions, you know, over there. It's only one question. And that's that's the point over there. What you can do, you can write them down, you know, just to practice. That would be better. But not right now. You can do it tomorrow or later. Do you tonight. know what time you live in? Mm -hmm. What number is that one? Eight. Eight. Okay, what time are you living? Yes. One more time, please. Do you know? Do you know what time are you leaving? No, do you, could no, you do tell you, me? Did you know? Uh -huh. Do you know what time you are leaving? Uh -huh. Do you know what time you are leaving? Okay. Okay. 
Yes, yes, correct. The first Thank part, you. it appears to be a question and it's like a question, but the second one is just a statement. That's why it's indirect, okay? Okay. Nice, so I'm gonna go to another room, you know, keep on practicing, please. Okay. Thank you. All right. Coming to the party or? Mm -mm. No, I mean no. Oh yes, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure. Right. I, I may help you. Yeah, please. All right, sure. What's the number you have a doubt on? First of all, uh, the two. number two. Uh, number number two. two, are you coming to the party? Okay, there's something you need to understand. You start, you know, you start like a question structure, but then after the no, like, could you tell me, could you let me know, I'm sorry, could you let if. me know, and then you go, if, if, yeah, if. If, if, and then you, you change uh, the, the original question into a statement, okay, and then you go, could you tell, I mean, could you let me know if you're coming to if. the party? If you are mm. coming. You are, yes. The second part is just a if. statement. It's a regular sentence. Ah, uh, it's gonna be, can you explain if, when, uh, I guess, could you explain? Yeah, and then the next one is, how does it work? You, you're just, that's too, you know, too, too, too hard, I would say. You have to something that. Tiene que suavizar la pregunta. So you go, how does it work? But then you ask, could you explain? Uh huh. How it works. How it works, right? How it works, correct. Me puede decir cómo funciona. Uh -huh. Instead of saying, ¿Cómo funciona? You see, that's too rude. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna delay that. Tell me again, please, sir. If I'm gonna delay that, could you explain how it works? Yeah. Yeah. Could you explain how it works? Could you tell me? Mm -hmm. This is a yes no if, question if, because if, if Lucy, Lucy mm -hmm. is being to Mexico. Yes, Cor correct. I like to know. But why don't you go, you know, one by one? You know, one person uh, states the question like, okay, number seven. What are you doing, let's say, Miguel Franco? And then you're going to tell me, do you know, do you have any idea? What you're doing. What you're doing? Yes. Do you, do you have any idea what you're doing here? Like that, right? <laughs> you know, that's how you're supposed to ask, you know. Uh, keep in mind the, the intonation. The intonation is the one uh, that gives you the clue. Whether... Do you know what time you live? Uh, do you know you what living? time? Uh, do you know you what living? time you're living? Do you know what time you're living? Okay. Could you okay. tell me? Uh -huh. Could you tell me? Hello? Is? If? If he's a lawyer. If he's a lawyer, you got it. Nice, nice. I'm glad you got it. I'm going to close the breaker room. Yes, I'm going to break up. Lawyer, you know. Lawyers lawyer. sometimes are liar, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's true, yeah. that's true. You never know, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Teacher. Yes, sir. Yes, Roberto. Uh, the, the number four. We uh, have a doubt. Sure, let me take a look. Yeah, remember now. Try to remember this, you know, for the rest of your life. <laughs> Exagerado. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now, but try to to keep an eye on this. Uh, if it doesn't have a wh question like what, where, who, uh, when, which, it's a yes no question, just like that. Okay. okay. If it's a yes, if it's a yes no question, you gotta put if. All right, so could you tell me if Lucy, and then it's just a statement, if Lucy has, has been, right? Has been to Mexico. Could you tell me if, uh, if Alex has been to the beach? <laughs> right, <laughs> right, yeah. okay. So I, I'm asking, you know, has, ha, I'm asking in general, so has Alex been to El Cuco, for example? And then you can ask me, so do you have any idea if Alex has been to uh, Playa El Sonte? You know, for example, and that's how it's done. 
remember that it begins like a regular question, you know, most of the time, like from one to four and then from six to uh, uh, nine, those are questions. But what about number number five and number 10? So on number five, you have, where are you from? And then you go, uh, I like, like to know. Uh -huh. And then you put the WH question in, in between, in the middle. I like to know. Where are you from? Where, where, where you, you are from. Where you but, are from. Yeah, where you're from. You know, I like to know where you're from. You know, Trump telling, you know, these immigrants, you know, I like to know where you're from, kid. You know. If you, go to the, if you go to the United States and then a, a frontier, you know, border patrol agent, you know, from the, uh, from ICE, so ask you. So uh, I'd like to know where, you, you know, where you're from. Give me your papers, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Yes. Or, or, you know, the police officer ask you, sir, I'd like, I, you know, I'd like to know if you're drinking, if you've been drinking. In El Salvador, you know, they don't ask you like that, you know. <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you been drinking? Or get out of the car, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. You know, that may happen. But be careful. What about number 10? Do you drink coffee? Drink actually, coffee. you know, that's what I have over here. Could you ask me, please? It's actually coffee. <laughs> I was okay. wondering mm -hmm. did you, if, you, if you drink coffee. And then, uh, so if you ask me that, I'm expecting an invitation, right? Yeah, of course. So let's go. <laughs> or thank you. Yeah, that's, that, that's the way it is. So I was wondering if you drink coffee. And then, you okay, would you like some coffee? So that's why. Okay, that's why. algo de tomar? You know, I was wondering if you would like something to drink. Okay. So that's how these questions are actually uh you know use we're gonna uh we're gonna keep this you know just for a second i think for the very end because i don't want you to get into your head you know i don't want i don't want to give you a headache instead let's get to practice a conversation i'm gonna send to you the material right now to the chat siempre se me olvida you know i always forget to send the material first <laughs> yeah my bad let me just one second please But if you have any questions about this, just let me know. Now, let, let me just take the opportunity to address, you know, this uh, exercise. I think it was, I think it was the midterm. Uh, yes, indirect question, exercise F, F over here. You know, I never do this, but right now I'm going to do it for you. Okay, because I think it's better if we, if we actually practice this, you know. So let's try to do, to do this together, you know, like school nowadays and exams, you know, virtually kids, you know, do these exams all together. All right. But okay. uh, let me just stop sharing this because otherwise I'll be sharing the answers, you know, <laughs> to you. <laughs> all right. Just one second, because I did this earlier. Um, okay. I mean, this is going to be quickly. You know, I, I don't want it to take too much time out of your practice time. Just one second over here. There we go. So I'm going to ask the question and then that somebody just, you know, tell me teacher is A, B or C. And then we're just going to move forward. So the first one for, for some points. How many questions do we have? Four. For four mm -hmm. points. Where is the nearest restaurant? The first one, eh? Yeah, you know where the nearest restaurant is. Yeah, yeah, you saw that, Alex. Yeah, I, I give you that one. <laughs> okay, how much do how much do newspapers cost? Like a dollar, right? Yeah. Or if it's Michero, like a quarter, right? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah? yeah. So A, B, or C. Could you tell me how much do newspapers cost? Could you tell me how much cost newspapers? Could you tell me how much newspapers cost? The third one. The first one, right? Or the, the third one? No, the third one. The third one. That third one. Okay. Why the third one and not the first one? Alice? Yeah, I can see I see your point over there. You see the uh, using the auxiliary. with the, the verb do correct. Yes, the auxiliary there. We don't need we don't correct. We don't need no helping bird, you know, no auxiliary bird, you know, we don't need nobody in here. Okay. So that's why. What is the best bookstore in town? Do you know? That's the only question structure that I need. Do you know where do you know where 
do you know? Okay, so they're similar. So A, B, or C, do you know? B, or B. 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 Correct, correct. Do you know where then the subject, the best bookstore, where in town is? Yes. What mm -hmm. time do the banks close? Actually, this is a very uh, real question. You know, nowadays, due to COVID-19, banks are opening later and closing earlier, right? All right. First so, uh, the first one, can you tell me what time the banks close? The yeah. first. The first one, correct. Yeah. Yes. Number two and number three, they have auxiliary verse, which we don't need. And let's see mm -hmm. how much, you know, did everybody uh, get? We see partially correct. Why is that? Something, I forgot to answer something. Something was wrong, yeah. They needed, yeah. I, I forgot, yeah, I forgot mm -hmm. to mark that one. You know, that's my, my mistake. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Okay, enough, you know, with this platform right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So just one second. And let's see. Yes, that's the one. Now check your check your uh, personal. Uh, it says, Angel, sorry about it. My light is very low, and I forgot to charge you in the office. I'll try to connect with myself. Oh, I'm sorry about it. Uh, so there you go. Check your personal uh, chat. I just send the material over there, and I'm sending the same information in the Zoom chat. Double check it, please. Hmm. Nice. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Stephanie, uh, are you able to open the information I just sent to you, Stephanie? Or maybe Luis, if you confirm this, Javier? I did it. All right. So what I, now, don't do anything yet, please. Uh, let me just give you a very quick, uh, uh, you know, guideline on this. So this is what the conversation will be about. Okay, listen in practice in direct questions, WH questions. Listen to the conversation, of course. What is the conversation about? Write the main idea in your notebook. So please don't look at the script, don't look at the vocabulary, just try to play the listening. You know, uh, try to pay attention. You may write the ideas down and then you tell me, so the, 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 you know, the, the gentleman needs to go, I don't know, to the bathroom, for example, right? Or needs to he goes to a to an interview, or he's looking for the park. Okay, of course, up to this point, most of you or all of you already know what the conversation is about. But I, I would like you to listen to it, you know, to get the main idea. I'm gonna give you one minute. All right, go ahead, please, and mute your microphones if you don't mind. Are we good? All right, so let me ask uh, everyone, uh, so what's the conversation about, by the way? Precisely, what is this gentleman you're doing over there, you know, asking the receptionist? About a bank. About a where, bank, all right. Uh, yes? For change money. So he wants to, to exchange the money. Okay, that might be the case over there. Nice, thank you. I appreciate that. Just one more, one more uh, contribution, okay. you know, besides that. Yes. Yes, Jacqueline, go ahead. About direction, basically, for the oh, nearest okay. bank and okay. the place that where he can go to get breakfast. Thank you. So, yeah, that's correct. And and there, there's actually a question over there asking that if the uh, receptionist was polite. You know, I think she's very polite, you know. 
And does this uh, gentleman, what's the name of this person? Or it's not mentioned. It's not mentioned, right? No, it's not mentioned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not being mentioned over there. So, and does he ask him directly, you know, to the lady, you know, in the front desk? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, 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 do you consider uh, that he's being polite? You know, he's polite, <laughs> he's not rude. Yes? Yeah, yes. he's polite. Yes. What if, what if, if he asks instead, you know, where's the bank? <laughs> okay, it's like, give me your purse, right? <laughs> like that, right? Nice. Uh, these are the same points we just review. I can send them to you if you like. I think it's better if you have just this image, you know, to review the, the whole uh, grammar points I shared with you. But what I want you to do right now, everyone, is to go and practice with a classmate, but before you practice, I want you to take the quiz. As you know, these uh, exercises that we always share, you know, they have the script, which is the conversation itself. They have the notes, which is the grammar, you know, the green uh, images over there. And then this is the quiz. I want you to play the listening one more time, please. And then just yeah. take this uh, brief quiz. If you think that you can do it, you know, perfectly right now without listening again, Go ahead and do it. But what I want you to do is to get exposed to the language. Okay. So why don't you uh, listen to this uh, last time? Take the quiz, and if you like, you can send, you know, uh, your score in the other chat, you know, in WhatsApp. Okay. Would that be okay for you, everyone? Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. So it's a forty. So let's let's see. Let's take a minute to complete this first. And the minute it starts, let's see, uh, right now. Right, so eight seconds, you know, eight more seconds in here. Okay, three, two, one, zero. If you like, if you would like, you can share your responses with me. However, let's go ahead and try to complete this, you know, all together. I'm gonna ask uh, Edgar. So Edgar, would you like to help us with uh, question one, two, and three? And the responses, please. Okay, uh, the bank is uh, the answer eight opposite. It's tough to say. Okay, so two, please. Okay, what time does the bank open? The answer is A, night. Okay, and number three. Okay, is the bank open now? The answer is A, yes. It's open right now. Okay, so which means that it is past nine, right? Most likely, right? Yes. Thank you, sir. So, uh, Veronica, please help us on from number four to number five, please. Only those two. Yeah, Veronica? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. No problem. Um, has Mark had breakfast yet? Um, their answer is no. Okay, yeah, correct. Number five. Uh, is the reference reference unit polite? Um, oh, we I don't think, know. <laughs> I <wouldn't> know. <laughs> yeah, I think that the response according to this is yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank. You. I think it's yes. Okay, and then let's hold on. Okay, so right now I'm going to send you to uh, breaker rooms so you can practice this conversation at least with some uh, classmates. So I'm going to open this. 
believe it or not, but it's 843, so, you know, 15 more minutes and this class is over, you know, time does fly on here. And uh, hold on, 14 participants. And there you go. So German is practicing with Karen, Elda with Jacqueline, Alex with Erga, Roberto with Veronica, Brenda with Miguel. And then Karen with Luis, and then Javier Rivas is alone, but I'm gonna practice with you, sir. So, Mr. Rivas, you may stay here and gonna be your partner. So, go join the breakout room, please. We're gonna practice, let's say, for the next two, three minutes. Now, if you're wondering where to get the information from, it's, it's over there on the same uh, uh, material I shared this with you. Okay. So, Javier, are you over here, sir? Oops. Mr. Chavi Rivas. Thank you. Stop, sir. Uh, so let's let's try to practice this. Right now, I'm gonna sacrifice for you. I'll be the receptionist. You'll be the mark. Mark, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead, please. Yeah, you're Good mark. Good morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good morning. I need a little help if you don't mind. Uh, hold on. I'm going to share. Yeah, I'm sharing the screen. I think. Yes. Uh, good morning, sir. How may I help you? Well, could you tell me where the nearest bank is? I need to change some money. Oh, bank, yes. There is one just across the road, right opposite, in fact. Anything else? Do you know what, what time is open? It opens at 9, uh, so it's already open. Thanks. Great. I better get across now then. Oh, uh, one, one last thing. Can you tell me where, when the narrow, when the restaurant stopped serving breakfast? I haven't eat, eaten yet. Mm, breakfast stops at ten, but you can still order other food in the restaurant anytime. Okay, great. Thank you for that. I better get going. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, she's very polite, you know. <laughs> now you're gonna be the receptionist, and then I'll go. I'll be Mark. Okay, here we go. Good morning. I need a little help if if you don't mind. Good morning, sir. How may I help you? Well, could you tell me where the nearest bank is? I need to change some money. Ah, bank. Yes, there is one. There is one just across the the road, right opposite. In fact, anything else? Do you know what time it opens? It's open at night, so it's already open. Thanks, great. Um, I better get a close now then. Oh, one last thing. Hey, could you tell me when the restaurant stopped serving breakfast? I haven't eaten yet, you know. Oh, breakfast? Stop. It's not a time, but you can see all the other food in the restaurant anytime. Okay, great. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, I better get going. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, we're going to come back, you know, to the... Uh, to the main session because I want to hear this conversation from someone, you know, two volunteers in there. Okay. Nice. That was good. That was good. You know, uh, so Javier, try to learn some phrases like this gentleman is, is using, like, I, I better get going. Like when he asks, good morning, I need a little help, if you don't mind. Si no, si no le molesta, right? These are the ones we should learn, you know, and use. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I, I see some faces in here. So Roberto, so you had, did you have a chance to practice, uh, Mr. Celay, Robert? Yes, yes, with right. uh, Veronica. You practice twice or only once? Yeah, twice. Bobby. First, I, mean, first I, mean, I mean, I'm not interrogating you. Know, I'm just trying to see. <laughs> okay. If you, had a, if you had a partner, you know, because Javier didn't have a partner, so that's that's why. <laughs> okay. 
Nice. Uh, I'm going to break. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna close the breaker rooms for everyone, so everyone should be joining this session right now. Let me just go ahead and share and share the screen with with you very quickly. And I just want to you know underscore you know just to uh, highlight a couple of of things you know, over here. Um, so if you want to ask someone you know for help. I think it, this this expression or this question uh, represents a very polite way to request help, you know, for help. Like you say, hi, hello, good morning. I need a little help if you don't mind, or if you don't mind. If you make the translation over here is, necesito ayuda, si no le molesta, me ayuda, por favor. That's what you're saying over here, okay? So if I were you, I would write this expression down just to use it, you know, for future, you know, help <laughs> request. And, and you know, there's another expression that I really want you to, or would like you to, uh, to keep in your records or to try to use. Like when he says, oh, okay, great. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, I better get going, mejor ya me voy. That's what we say, you know, mejor ya me voy. Okay, so, uh, let me just see how many participants I have over here. Yes, 14. Just for the record, everyone, uh, I was just uh, pointing to to this uh, expression. I think, you know, these are, you know, precious expressions that we can, uh, you know, guard and use at any time, you know. I think that would be the best thing to do. If you see an expression that you think you can use in a real conversation, so, Write it down, use it, and try to practice it, okay? Now, uh, that being said, uh, I think we gotta, you know, sorry about that. Um, let's go back to this page, please. And we're going, to, we're going to close up the night with this. I think tonight you, you uh, didn't have a good chance or too many opportunities or a lot of opportunities to practice with somebody in there. But I want, I want you to have as many opportunities as possible, okay? Or at least uh, chances to practice this grammar, which is in direct question. Right now, things are going, are going to get a little bit, I would say, nasty, you know, if I can say that word, or dare you. So what I'm saying in here is right. Number one, rewrite the indirect questions in the correct word order. You don't have to write anything down. But instead of doing that, try to practice with your classmate. Would you mind telling me where the nearest bank is? Okay, so that's what you're gonna do with your classmate. Once you're done, you know, you know, unscramble these uh, questions. If there are questions, you're going to ask and answer the questions with a with a partner. So if I ask, would you mind telling me where the nearest bank is? And I'm in the middle of Soyapango, I don't know, downtown or San Salvador or La Libertad or so somewhere else. So you, you can ask, actually I have no idea where the nearest bank is, or yes, it's across or opposite. So you know what I'm saying over here? Yes. So right now you're gonna, you're gonna really practice. Okay, you're not just gonna ask just because, you know, this is a grammar explanation, but you're gonna practice. So, I mean, goodbye. I'm gonna I'll send you to the uh, breakout rooms. We still have eight more minutes, or at least, you know, seven more minutes for you to practice over here. So give me just one second. Excuse me, just one moment. Let me just send this image to the chat. You know, I always forget, almost forget this time. <laughs> so you're supposed to have it. One more, we'll just, just one second over here. Uh, let's see, that's the one. So one more time, what you gotta do is to put the questions in order in, in there and then just to practice with your class. We know ask and answer this time. So uh, the uh, image has been sent to you, everyone. Right, right now, just be ready. You're going to be split into the break rooms again. So, and there we go. So this time I have uh, German and Karen, Alex, Jacqueline, and Javier all together. And then we have Brenda, Veronica together, Hilda, Riz, Edgar working together. Cutting and then Roberto, all right? So join please, this is the last uh, activity of the night.
Yeah, Bobby, uh, join Karen. Karen is waiting for you. Okay. Nice. Yeah, appreciate that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to join. Yeah, Herman. Uh, so you have to um, put in the correct uh, order. Yeah, it works. Yeah, Karen, can you hear us, Karen? I... Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, Would are you... you... Yeah, go ahead, I'm sorry about that. Go ahead. Okay. Would you mind? Tell me the band, the Dave band were nurse? Mm -mm, no. Would you mind tell me there's band? Uh, in that case, so it's like, would you mind telling me? What are you looking for? Would you are you, like are you telling look me? Mm -hmm. What are you looking? Are you looking for a place, for a location? Are you looking for someone? So what are you looking for? Where? Where, right? So that's why you go. Would you would you mind telling me where? Uh huh. What? Now what are you looking for? Oh, no, I understand. Okay. Would you like? Would you mind tell me uh -huh. where the band? Where the bank? Nearest, nearest. No, but in this case, is you know the closest one. Where the nearest bank? Nearest is mm -hmm. right. Correct. Yes. Yes, uh, German. Go ahead, please. Okay, I'd like to know how to make an indirect question. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean that's fictitious, you know, because you know how to do it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, you're still learning. So I like to know, you know, how to make an indirect question. If I, you know, if someone, if, if you guys ask me this, you know, the very first time without me explaining this, I will go just, I mean, you, you be the teacher, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like to know, you know, how to make an indirect question. You know, that's good. Thank you. Karen, continue, please. But I, I got to go, you know. Would you tell me if? Huh? No. Um, uh, number three, right? No, in this case, yes. uh, Karen, we still have a how. How? If you see how, uh, what, could where, you tell who, me? Huh? Could you tell me how the class, this now, this, uh, get it, get it? Okay, so no. could you tell me could how? Could you tell me how to class? Uh -huh. This is a little bit complicated, right? Get in. Uh, eight. Uh -huh. Get in. Could you tell me? Could you tell me how to the to class? No, you're asking for the action, you know. Can you tell me how to? You need a verb. How to? You need a verb. How to? Get it. How, get okay. In. Okay, can you tell me how to get? Get, get what? Get. To get what? To get what? Get an, no. Could you tell me get how to um, get an A, un diez, an a. in class? In this class. Could you tell me how to get an a an aid in this class? Study. <laughs> uh, yeah, study, practice, you know, you know, don't sleep, you know. Yeah, last time, you know, since, you know, uh, I'm a teacher, you know that, right? Of course, but I also work for, for a private school. And it's highly demanding, by the way. And virtually, you know, it's actually time consuming. And I have the first class in the morning. And besides, I'm a homeroom teacher, you know, orientador. So I have to be there, you know, at 715 and I have to have the class ready. And so since it was a Sunday and I had time with my family, so I have to go to sleep at around one o'clock, you know, 1 a.m. and wake yeah. up before six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but that's the way it is, you know. Yeah. So, and so how do you plan to get an aid in this? Practice, you know, sacrificing. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue, please. I'm going to uh, visit some other uh, friends in here. 
Okay. Yes, Sherman, continue. With the last, if you like to know. Question was this, do one thing. Mm -hmm. the, uh -huh. Hello, hello. Hello. Yes, you know the uh, the classes is actually over. <laughs> yeah, it's yes. it's it's almost nine o'clock, but uh, we actually had the chance to practice this. Um, cool. You know, I'm not going to assign any homework. What we're going to do tomorrow, the first thing we're going to be talking about is this, okay? Because yes. I really need to review this. You know, um, if you like write the uh, indirect sta statements or questions down and you can share it with me and I can tell you, yes, you know, you got an eight or you got a B or you got a nine, eight, seven, etc. And I can give you some feedback if you like. Okay. So, before but it's go, teacher. before you go. <laughs> okay. Bye, you teacher. How to no. Bye. Good night. Excuse four. me. Okay. Four. Yeah. <laughs> On number four. Yeah, no problem. On number four, do you know what the weather okay what the weather will the weather is like be like tomorrow do you know what the weather mm -hmm. we know will be like tomorrow ah okay <laughs> the thing is that in this okay. case like, like doesn't mean doesn't mean like Gustar, it means como, like what does he look like? Como luce él? What does he look like? You know, that's why. Mm -hmm. What's the weather oh. like? What's the weather like today? What's the weather gonna be like tomorrow? The things that we don't like most of the time. And with this, we say goodbye. But yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you.